Well, when you have a Friday the 13th movie, there's various ingredients you need to have. You need the woods or space or New York or, you know, Elm Street. Okay, fine. You need Jason, right? Or Roy or Pamela. Okay. Well, you gotta have a final girl, right? Hey, we did it. All right. Final girls in the Friday the 13th franchise. Today, I am going to be ranking them, doing it via tier list. So let's get into it. So there are 12 movies in the Friday franchise with varying degrees of quality. And the final girls also are varying degrees of quality. Uh, so before I give you guys my list as I rank them here via tier list, tell me yours down below in the comments. I want to know who your favorite final girl in the Friday the 13th franchise is. All right, let's start right off the bat. Uh, the categories here are best, great, nice, eh, okay, terrible, and die. Okay, we're starting right at the top here. We're starting with Alice, the OG final girl in this franchise. For most franchises, that would put them right towards the top, right? Friday's a little bit different. You know, nobody just throws the first Friday at the top. I think it's really good, but, uh, you know, the final girls are the same thing. You know, nobody, really, you really don't see too many people have Alice at the top. But for me, kidding, no, she, she is not the best. Um, but Alice is okay. She's just gonna go, eh, okay. You know, she had, she had a good cat fight with Mrs. Voorhees. Uh, she was fine. She had a deal with Steve Christie being a fucking creep. Uh, but other than that, not horribly memorable besides the fact that she is in the first movie. Uh, moving right along, this is obviously not in order here. Uh, we're going to use the order on the tier list, which brings us to part three's Chris Higgins. Chris battles a lot. She really really takes the hammer to Jason. In part three, that third act in part three, when she's battling Jason, you know, from the house to upstairs in the house, to, you know, jumping out the window, to the van, to the barn, hanging Jason. She does all kinds of shit and she goes absolutely bonkers because of it. I love that she lost her mind at the end because that is a real thing that would probably happen. Especially when she dealt with possibly being raped by Jason a couple years earlier wearing the same clothes he got earlier that day. Never mind. Um, but Chris is a great final girl, and that's where she goes. Next, we got part two's Ginny Field. Uh, look, Ginny's awesome. Uh, you know, she's got great rapport with Paul in this movie. You know, she's got a little sass to her. Bullshit, Paul. Bullshit. Um, you know, her conversation at the bar talking about, uh, you know, Jason, even though she drops a hard R in that conversation. Um, but she is great. And she's got a, also a good final chase. You know, she pees herself, actually. I mean, that's pretty realistic, right? Uh, takes a um, chainsaw to Jason, right? Um, and to be honest, she uses child psychology, which she was majoring in. You know, Ginny's the best for me. Ginny is the best final girl in the franchise. Okay, let's move on to, it looks like Jessica from Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, one of the older final girls in here, because this is more of an adult movie, not really dealing with teens. Um, Jessica. What is there to say about Jessica? Well, she's Jason's niece, right? She kind of sucks, right? Yeah, she she should have died. She can die. She's, she's not good. Uh, not a big fan of Jessica. All right, next, we have the final girl from Freddy vs. Jason. What the hell's her name? Monica Keegan's her name. Her real name is it Kristen? Uh, either way, the fact that I am questioning that tells you guys all you need to know. Um, you know, I want to put her in terrible. I really, really do. But I can't because she's all right. She's eh, okay. She can join Alice even though I put Alice a little bit higher than her. Uh, next, we have Megan from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, fan favorite movie. Look, Megan kind of gets a raw deal because she's a great character and she's overshadowed by Tommy because this is Tommy's story. This is Tommy's journey. Uh, but she, you know, really uh, is, you know, 
kind of speaking of sass, you know, like I said with uh, Ginny, you know, that's Megan. Megan's got an attitude. Uh, she's trying to do the right thing, though. She's helping Tommy. She knows her dad's wrong. Uh, she goes to save the kids. And then when Tommy's, you know, kind of half defeated by Jason, she's the one that goes into the water, takes the motor to Jason. Like, it, it she is a great character. She's not the best, uh, but she is great. Wish we would have gotten more with Megan. Next, we have... Pam from Friday the 13th, Part 5. Um, Pam is the epitome, in my opinion, of OK. She's also going right in the middle. Don't really have much to say about Pam. She's not very memorable. You know, I think of Reggie the Reckless, Tommy, you know, uh, Demon, all these other characters. And then you just got Pam there. She's solid. She's fine. Uh, the actress does a great job. Uh, but as far as character goes, she's just OK. Let's get to Rinny from uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Rinny, Rinny, Rinny. She's got a cool dog, right? Uh, she's got a terrible backstory um, where Jason is trying to drown her in the lake and Jason's having hallucinations about Jason. Uh, she's got the worst uncle in the history of uncles, right? Um, but I can't forgive her for that. She's terrible. Uh, not a memorable character. Don't blame the actress at all. I think Jensen Daggett, I think is her name. Uh, she seems great in the interviews that I've seen with her, um, but I think the character is terrible. Uh, next, we have Rowan from Jason X. Rowan, 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 what to do with you? You are an odd character because, uh, you know, you go to the future, you don't really know anything. Uh, you know, she knows that Jason is, you know, deadly. She was part of the research team that was trying to stop him and freeze him. Uh, she accidentally got frozen with him. So she's trying to tell all these people how dangerous Jason is. Nobody's fucking listening, obviously. Uh, Rowan, look, I, she's terrible. Okay, she's just not memorable. Now, it's not really the actress's fault once again. None of this is, right? Uh, so I probably don't need to keep saying that. But, uh, you know, Rowan as a character, once again, not memorable at all. Uh, she's just kind of there. I think of some of the other goofy characters uh, in that movie. So I, I just think she's terrible. Now, we got Tina Shepard. She's definitely one of the most memorable final girls, not only in Friday history, but in horror history, because she is essentially Carrie 2.0. She uses her telekinesis to take the wood, take the hammer to Jason, and we get a hell of a battle. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's some other things going on with her character that, um, you know, she, she's dealing with the trauma of accidentally killing her father and whatnot, as, long, as well as, you know, dealing with her powers. Uh, but as much as I don't like this movie, I think she's a pretty good character. Um, and I think there's a lot of depth, depth to her, a lot of nuance in some of the things she does. I'm putting her in nice. Tina Shepard can go in nice. She's not even close to the great tier, uh, but I think she's better than okay. Uh, next, we have Kimberly Beck's Trish from Part 4. Underrated character again, because another character that's overshadowed by Tommy Jarvis at the end, right? But she has a great battle with Jason back and forth between the two houses, right? She jumps out a fucking window to buy uh, Tommy time. You know, she's nailing the door shut. She puts a heavy-ass TV on Jason's head. Uh, all kinds of shit. I um, mean, you know, I love her little attitude at the end. I'll give you something to remember us by. That's great. That's great. So speaking of great, uh, Trish is going into great. She's joining Chris and Megan in the great category. And finally, we have Whitney. What can you say about Whitney except for she was captured by Jason. We barely, uh, barely knew her. Uh, they pulled the old switcheroo on us with uh, the character of Jenna, I think her name was, Danielle Panabacker's character, and Whitney survived. Uh, she's an okay character, and she belongs in the okay tier. So that is my ranking, my tier list of the Friday the 13th Final Girls. Tell me where you guys would rank your Final Girls in the franchise down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next one.